Hi guys, Erin here for a book review video. Today I'm going to be reviewing part one of Paper Towns by John Green. Now, this book is a nonfiction novel, and I know I don't usually read nonfiction novels, but Jesse the Reader, a fellow booktuber, recommended the book, so I was reading the book because he told me to read the book. Anyway, there are spoilers ahead, so if you don't want any, click off this video now. In any other event, enjoy! My favorite character is Margot because she's fearless, she wants to right wrongs that she made, and she wants to get back at the people who did her wrong. And to my least favorite characters, I have two of them. Margot's ex-boyfriend, Jason, and Margot's ex-best friend, Becca. Now, Jason cheated on Margot with Becca, and I think Margot has every right to be angry. I mean, he could have given her an STD. Why do these people not think of that? If you're not happy in a relationship, be honest and break up. Don't cheat on somebody, don't cheat with somebody on your girlfriend or boyfriend or whoever, but that just, whatever. And then, I also don't like Becca because she betrayed Margot's trust. And my favorite scenes, I liked when Margot looked to Q for help and their adventure began. I keep looking down because I have a bunch of notes here. And then another favorite scene was when Margot had Q call Becca's dad at 1 a.m. to tell him that his daughter was hooking up with Jason in the basement. Not, not, not what it seems to be. Not that way. But keep your heads out of the gutter, as one of my former friends would have said. And a least favorite scene? The ending of part one I thought was really sad. I mean, Margot told Q that she couldn't hang out with him because it would be impossible, as she phrased it. But I want to know why, because she doesn't seem to care, as far as I know, about the high school or anything or social order, so-called. So am I right or wrong here? And my rating? For one who doesn't read anything but science fiction, fantasy, horror, thriller, psychological thriller, murder mysteries, or just general fiction and whatever that isn't straight up romance, I thought this was pretty interesting. So my rating would probably be 4 or 5 stars. Maybe 4.5, but I'm not sure, because this is like the first nonfiction book that I've been reading in a really long time. So anyway, I'm going to be getting back to reading. I have a bunch of books that I've been reading since my birthday, so I have Deadfall, Everless, Evermore, The Fifth Wave, Zenith by another fellow YouTuber. I have the Mortal Instruments series to get through, and just a bunch of other books. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the rest of the day. So anyway, like this video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, comment below what your favorite John Green book is. Have a great day, everyone!